7 p.m. We finally arrived in Hoi An. Oh, that last, honestly, that last bit where it says it's only two hours or an hour and a half, it took us three hours. That is mad. It was so long. It just The time it just would not go down. And there was hectic traffic as well going through Da Nang. Oh, the room's nice though. We've got a decent room, nice comfortable bed, decent bathroom, air conditioning, pool, 12 pounds a night, the lot. Proper good value for money. Just breakfast included as well. Yeah, very impressed. I like it. Now, contrary to what my face says, I am actually very excited to be here in Hoi An. I am knackered today though, but I'm excited to try all the food here because apparently the food in Hoi An is banging, like up there with the top in Vietnam. So I'm very much looking forward to trying it and obviously seeing the place as well. It's not all about food. We've just come uh, come out for lunch now, uh, for dinner. Fucking yeah, lunch, I didn't even have lunch. We've just come out for dinner. Been recommended a couple of places here by the lady at the hotel. There's like a tourist tax in Hoi An, in the old town area. So we're not going there for dinner, we're going here. And I'm starving, so I'm not going all the way over there. Uh, it's like a five minute ride on the bike down the road. This is just around the corner, so we're gonna go over here. Uh, they do a couple of Vietnamese dishes and Natalia's gonna get a sandwich and french fries. I'm probably not going to. You're not going to? No. This food is very, very nice in here. Good start to Hoi An. Yeah, I've got uh, lemongrass and chili chicken. Very, very nice, full of flavor. And they, they've they given me some uh, morning glory. Uh, not like that. Morning glory is like this stuff, right? It's like some sort of, it's a bit like spinach, kind of. It's a water spinach. But they cook it up in garlic and that, and it's, it's actually really nice. And it's full of flavor. This food is good. Really good food, and it was really good price. Portions could probably be a bit bigger, I would say. Or maybe they've just given me an extra big plate. And that's ordered like this pork skewers, which is quite a common thing out here as well, Vietnamese food, uh, with a peanut sauce. And she says it's full of flavor as well, right? Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, really good. So yeah, this is a good place to come for food in uh, Hoi An. She said the chef here is, uh, used to work in a five-star hotel. Oh, posh guy. Wow, that was so good. I want to lick the plate. <laughs> I, I, I seriously think that's the best food I've had since we got to Vietnam. Can you think of anything that's better than that? Maybe a couple of the bun chars were really good. Yeah. But like. And the bun mi's too. But like as an actual meal. But like the flavour in this is just yeah. popping. It's mad. Like it's so so tasty. Honestly, that's 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 been a fucking good meal. Good start to Hoi An. Right after our six or seven hour ride today. We are not doing anything tonight. We're gonna to go back to the room, have a rest, get some sleep, hit it tomorrow, today, we just need to go to sleep. See ya, see you in the morning. There's also free bike hire with this hotel. Dare we go out on these, on the Vietnamese roads. With no brakes and no air bell. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. Beautiful. What an amazing little town. They've got an old town here. They've got an old town here. And uh, it's really like preserved. It's like how it was back then, back in the day when it was made. It's really cool. It's really nice to go around. They've got a lot of uh, flowers and stuff around the place, a lot of lanterns, like it's very pretty. This, this is definitely one of my favorite places in Vietnam. We've definitely saved the best till last. It's, got, it's gorgeous here, I love it. I like it here a lot. Nat loves it here. 
It's a bit like Luang Prabang in uh, Laos, you know, like real old school, very traditional. It's really, really nice. Oh, we found another snake. Poor little guy, he ain't been dead very long. Straight over his head. He's got a cool pattern at the bottom. Yeah, he's got a cool pattern underneath. Good evening, guys. Now, some of you might know it's my hair. Funny story, actually, I went and got my hair cut earlier from like a sort of backstreet barber again. And I told him, ah, just do what you want, all good, doesn't matter. And he, and he gave me this. He basically revealed my true hairline. <laughs> he also persuaded me to get my ears cleaned, which cost me an extra 100 thousand dong i didn't even know what to expect really i thought they were just gonna you know like get, brush it up and that but they sort of lay me down and she got, went and got all these tools and i was thinking oh this ain't really very this isn't what i was expecting so i'm lying there and she sort of like shaves the inner of my ear and then starts like sort of prodding around sticking tools in my ears and i was thinking oh mate this ain't good this is how this is how tourists go deaf i've got no health insurance i've got no travel insurance no nothing and this woman poking stuff in my ears. So I was panicking, I started sweating. She put, she prodded in a little bit too far at one point. And I thought, oh, that, that didn't feel good. This, is, this isn't smart, what am I doing? And then when, after I moved, she said, are you in pain? And I was thinking, oh God, what's happened? And the dude come over and was like, are you okay? I was like, oh fucking hell, what has she done to my ear? Oh my God, this is literally it, I'm gonna go deaf. I was thinking, I can still hear all right. What's happened? And uh, yeah, nothing. Because I moved, they, they thought I was in pain. Actually, it was fine. I can, it's not, no problem at all. Well, it's pretty disgusting what came out of my ears. I've never had that done before. But it's, it's quite like, satisfying to think that they're all cleared out. Although I don't think it's actually a very healthy thing to do. It's not something you need to do a lot because your ears are supposed to have uh, waxing. But I didn't know all of this before I went there. I was kind of completely caught off guard and thought it'd be a good idea, but uh yeah lesson learned there although it was quite nice in the end i don't know if i'd recommend it to anyone it's a bit dodgy but did the job walking through hoi an at night time is a whole different experience we've come out today we've braved it and it is so beautiful i'm obsessed with all of the artwork and decoration and the architecture it's so cool it's like stepping back in time i love it look at this right how cool is this and this, that's $950. It's only $187. Look at it. The fact that we find the shop fascinating is just showing our age. We're oldies. We're oldies now. <laughs> we like old ships. Yeah. And reading about old wars. Yeah. Just have to face the facts sometimes. Look at these clocks. They're sick, mate. Only $33. Fucking well good. Hoi An at night is not something to be missed. It is so nice walking around here. All the old buildings, the lanterns everywhere, all the little boutique coffee shops and uh, bars, restaurants. It's really, really nice. It really comes alive at night. And it's quite nice as well when it's not so hot in the day, mate. We're just sweating our asses off walking around here. What's that? All right. Everyone's getting these drinks. All the locals are queuing up for these drinks, so we're going to get them. Follow the crowd. Mop, mop, mop. Herbal ice drink. Is it nice? Mm, it's quite sweet. Is it? We have no idea what's in it. I don't know if anyone else knows. I don't actually know what's in it. I still don't know what's in it. But it's really, it's sweet, fresh, cold, lovely, and it looks pretty. It does look quite pretty. Yeah, it's got a bamboo, a straw made out of bamboo. Which is good as no well. No plastic. Yeah, that's good. It's probably the only thing in Vietnam that doesn't have any plastic. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> that's well mm. nice. No idea what it is. It's kind of like a lemonade. 
Oh yeah. Out. I, like I like that line in, it, in my hair, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's sick. It looks chubbiest haircut I've ever seen. It's really refreshing though, isn't it? That's mm. well nice. What we needed. The streets are so hot, even at night time. It's well hot. All these bodies everywhere. I was been walking around saying it's much better at night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we haven't even had dinner yet. No. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. Maybe we're going to go to that place we always go to because they do so good food in there. Yeah, maybe. Well, I was going to get food here, but it's more expensive and it's probably not going to be as good. Yeah. Stick to what we know, like Dickma. Yeah. Dickma, we still do what you do. And there's a beach here as well, a Hoi An. If it wasn't good enough already, there's a beach. And it's a nice beach too. And we've got a real cloudy day today and the water still looks blue. And it's actually, it's actually cold and clear. It's actually really clean. The beach is clean as well, kind of. Pretty much, pretty clean. There are quite a lot of water activities down here. You can go parasailing. They've got the little, uh, the basket boats, you know, where they spin you around in and all that. They've got jet skis. Banana boats, deck chairs, loads of beach clubs, beach bars. It's all going on here. It's like, yeah, there's, there's a lot to keep you busy here. There are a lot of people up trying to sell you deck chairs and uh, water sports and stuff on this beach as well. But as soon as you say no thanks, they, they leave you alone. They're not very, they're not very pushy after you've said no. But we did hear before we came here that all the people on the beach now are really pushy and people in the old town are really pushy trying to get you to buy things and trying to get you to jump on the activities but they haven't been very pushy at all I haven't found in my experience they've been pretty sweet as actually they come over with a smile ask if you want it you say no thanks they maybe try and offer you a little bit more say no thanks again and they're like okay no worries maybe later pretty pleasant actually quite a pleasant experience one thing I will say though the restaurants in that on here are very very expensive but it, probably about three times the amount you're going to pay at a normal place for drinks and food. Like coffees, for example, you're looking at about 60 to 90,000 per coffee. Whereas anywhere else, you're looking at 30 to 45, maybe 60,000 if you get a fancy one. But yeah, they're, they're expensive here, very expensive. We just saw a milkshake for 140,000. That's, that's, that's unbelievable. So yeah, that you definitely pay a premium for going into these places along the beach, but it's quite a nice atmosphere, quite a, quite a nice vibe here. So I uh, guess you get what you pay for. All right, we just dropped the bikes off. Wow, what an experience that was. Um, mate, I, I, I can't say one bad word about that place. Honestly, they have been absolutely perfect. They, they check the bikes over, not even a thorough check, just to make sure it all works. Bang, your deposit's back in your pocket, no problem. We have had absolutely zero issues with them. They've got mechanics all around the country, like pet partnered up with them as well. So you're not gonna get ripped off. And if you ever get into any trouble, give them a text on the WhatsApp number. And uh, they, they were literally right there. We had a few issues, no, nothing to do with nothing, not the bike's fault at all, but little, little things happened here or there uh, along the way. Give them a quick text. They tell you exactly which repair shop to go to so you don't get ripped off. Mate, they were perfect. Whole thing has been perfect. I couldn't recommend them enough, honestly. Uh, style bikes they are. They've got they've got them absolutely everywhere. There's Huey, Hanoi, Hoi An, Ho Chi Minh. They're everywhere. They got them in Hajang. Could not recommend them enough, honestly. It's been absolutely perfect. And it's now half twelve. And they give you a free beer too. They give you a free beer. You celebrate that you survived the Vietnamese roads. Yep. And <laughs> so now it's half twelve in the middle of the day, and that's walking around with a beer in her hand. Like a typical Brit. Like a typical Brit. <laughs> We're going to watch the football. 